Hello fellow beings of Middle-earth and welcome back to the Dwarves of Erebor campaign. This is the fifth episode and I am currently besieging Bar Idoniak and Captain Haldan's great army is right here. Uh, we cannot fight this like we do not have the force. Because most of these guys are armor piercing specialists, like these three and these two, and most of these guys are actually armor piercing. So that's like this is the ideal so army for those to, to or for Angmar to be able to deal with us. So, what I'm going to try to do is snatch out Bari Donyak and then snatch Gobeldrine when because it's a village, so I can just assault it immediately when I hit the city. So, I'm going to just skirt around and then hit Govedran before Haldan can uh, uh, help. But I do want to fight this army someday because it is definitely an interesting army to fight off. Uh, but not with the current forces we have. We do have Captain Bali Belly uh, on his way over here. And Baragol is just standing here all alone. Like, Baragol himself could probably take out Govedran. I'm not sure, but they might be able to take out the Witch Knights themselves. But anyways, we are besieging over here. And we are sending more reinforcements to Kameth Brin. So we're going to get a sufficient force over here. And we are also sending the army that we defeated over here. Like, we um, we defeated the army at Vithibor and we're now sending the force further. Just going to mop up Captain Lagrad as well. And then we'll send them down here and we're going to assault Goblin Town with the help of the Hammers of Gundabad. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. We are also having these uh, Axe God of Erebor. We could finally re recruit them again. So I've sent them over here. Just because why not. These guys are, as you remember, on their way here. Also recruiting a couple more units in Kirikathor. And that is basically it. So let's end the turn. So it's going to be interesting to see if we can actually bring down Angmar very quickly. I really hope that we could take them down today. Because they're, they're just occupying our troops and we do want our focus to be on another side. Definitely. We do need to make an alliance with the Elves of Im Ladris as well. Even though I don't think they're going to attack us ever. Now I want you to tell me in the comment section below what is your favorite uh, dwarf from Tolkien's Legendarium. And then I mean like all the ages first age. So, oh wow. That's another general. That's not Howland at least. Let's see what this brings to us. But yeah, do comment what uh, favorite dwarf general you have. Lord Rodakan. Ah oh, yeah, this is a pretty sufficient force, to be honest. Alright, we'll have to face them on the field, I guess. But they consist of mostly trash. But when you look at our army, it's not too healthy at the moment. But we still have two cavalry units. But they have a lot of wargs. But I think we're going to be fine. Ah, uh, their faction leader is actually here. And this is just the and the factioner. We could actually make a genocide here, I think, if we are very successful. But I think I'm going to fight this as a battle of camera. It's not that interesting. I'll do my best and try to win this battle. It's really important. So I'll see you right after this battle. This is indeed looking grim. Our last cavalryman just vanished. It's been a really close battle. We're only four percent behind. But their witch knights and their wargs have just proved to be way too much. Their wargs are just so overpowered. And we experienced that ourselves in our own campaign. But it's going to be a loss. You see, they still have so many of these witch knights. And there, Lun goes down, sadly. So that means we'll have to muster a whole new force. But that's the plan anyways. At least we killed a lot of them. And all of them got a lot of kills, except for the Iron Hills Mattox. I don't think the Iron Hills Mattox have been proven to be as good as I've wanted so far. Like, uh, when I I thought that battle at Wittibod off-camera last episode, 
They actually didn't kill almost any goblin infantry and they got completely slaughtered. I know it like the goblin infantry doesn't have a lot of armor, but still they are dwarves and they should be able to do some damage there. I think they're the worst units we have in our roster so lives. far. Lift the siege. But it's not ah! there's no real answer. So now the war with Angmar is going to be prolonged. Which is a bit annoying. Chieftain of Angmar is dead at least. Yeah, we got to kill one of their generals. So we killed the faction. We killed the faction leader at least. Alright. Captain Belly is on his way. Now we don't have any cavalry left though. That's going to hurt us pretty hard. Kingdom of Gondor, alright. And they have started recruiting Dark Blades. Oh no, they just left some of them here. Uh, this is annoying. But he's probably going to let his army just get... Or he is going to divide his force pretty much. So I think that's going to favor us at least. Now we sent you to Mount Gundabad for training. And we're sending you to swap with Gimli. I think these guys need to go here instead now. Move out. And Balmir will just get rid of Lagrad. I'm not going to risk this battle just yet. The Ultra Soul is probably going to favor them pretty hard. So I'm going to do it off camera. I'm just going to check a little bit here. Our culture is doing fine here. I don't think we need to build anything. We can start recruiting some more units, but we probably want to do that on our front. At least we're making some more money now because of that huge upkeep is gone. Let's get these guys. And in Framsburg, yeah, we can soon recruit here as well. That's going to be a nice addition. So once we have defeated Lagrad, we'll start heading south. And how's things going here? Yeah, they have some large armies here. It will be good with these reinforcements. Definitely need it. We don't really have a lot of infantry left here because I actually defeated a large goblin stack off camera. That wasn't really hard, but still, there's so many of them. Can't build anything here. We gotta start recruiting here soon. It's still a little while, which is annoying. Same here. I think you to go for some roads here. We need some faster movement. Any more Vatarth? We can only build a pig farm, but let's just do it. And let's get the pub in Kamath Brin. Alright, that means I'll have to fight this battle right, off camera. And I will be right back after that battle. Well, that was a quick process. They couldn't stand up to the might of this dwarf cavalry, or Dalian cavalry, I should rather say. Cavalry combined with Look dwarves is the most overpowered army you can make. They are very slow though. That's the only thing they lack. Speed. But if you just get some cavalry on the field, even though it's really bad cavalry, they will still perform so well. I'm really annoyed that we couldn't really bring down those two Angmarim armies. We might have wanted to retreat there actually. It was just too large of a force. But we couldn't really do our plan if we didn't fight that battle. And that was the... We just had to bet on it. And that's annoying because I wanted to get rid of Angmar for a pretty long time ago. And they have still just kept bothering us. Or we haven't really been able to... To defeat them and that's our fault. Alright, let's see here. Now, I really want to see some action over here today. It's been a pretty slow situation over here. Let's just send all of these guys. We're going to have a large army here. And I think we can start helping that army uh, which they are sending. That's not really going to do much, but we could definitely help it out a little bit. Just doing some hits before the main force comes. They're pretty far away, but yeah, dwarves works walk slowly. Let's get these guys over here as well. 
I think I'm just going to send Balmir straight down and then I will follow up with these forces. I think they will be sufficient enough. Since we got the hammers, I think they can rack up kills in plentiful. Let's see. No, this bullet is just going to slow us down. Yeah, I'm glad that these guys are helping us. Ella than the aggressive, I haven't seen that before. Wow. Alright, let's end the turn. And now we're probably going to struggle against Angmar because they have all of those overpowered troops there. And they might even start expanding. At least we have taken their capital, but I don't think we're going to be able to end them in this episode. And not the ne next episode either. It's going to take a bit longer time now. But let's hope we can see some action against Runt today. Definitely. And the goblins is just lost at this point. Once we take Goblin Town, we're not even bothering them at any point. And I think we gotta go around Imladris to hit Sakhala. Alright, let's... Ah, uh, the ring is in Isengard. I don't... That isn't really... It's really affect us that much. Alright, there we go. And... You can barely not come inside. I think I'm going to take the fort and then go inside. Mount Gunnaban and Litash. Ah, that's nice. We need these troops. My king. We march to Gormi. Alright, let's send them to Angsul and let's start preparing this great army. Yeah, they're sending more armies now. I'm tempted to actually build a watchtower up here. Just to make sure we can see if those if Angmar takes the settlement up. I want to see where the dwarves of Edit Luin is. They still haven't taken Oyolad. That's kind of annoying. Really wanted them to be able to help us on this front. Imagine that dwarves on both sides helping each other out. That's the brethren we want. Alright, send them over here. We're still building this. Pandum, gotta wait a long time still. Let's send the Axe as well. And next turn we're going to start... Probably we have the sufficient force with these guys. So next turn we're going to start going against Goblin Town. And Balmir, you will do the same. You can't recruit any mercenaries here. We march no further today. He'll be able to get all the way down there, so we're actually going to send these guys down. Ah, it would be nice to see some more hammers in action, definitely. And Captain Dor. Yeah, you gotta go here. The mistake I made here was possibly that I pushed way too hard. But we're just betting on it. And we should have broken down those armies uh, in the previous episodes when they were just all alone. But we just ignored them and pushed straight for the settlement. That is was a large mistake on my part. Very large mistake. Right, we're just building stuff. Let's just check uh, this guy. Let's get him to the fort. In Unasana, let's get... No, we don't really need to build anything. With the board, we're still building shit. And yeah. That is probably it. Uh, we can probably go for some pig farm over here just to get more money. And we're miss yeah, like we're making some good money here. Not having any issues. My king. I Kirikathor, we can build something though. And we could probably get some more armor. It's not long until the barracks went. That would be good for us. Yeah, let's get this before the barracks went. Or perhaps we should get the ballista maker actually. I do want to get catapult here and start bombarding rune with great fire. Alright, we're just going to start uh, checking out how the lands down here is. We, cannot, we can actually recruit a spy here, which will be very useful. Let's get the spy. And he will go on his way eventually. He will come. Yeah. It will be nice to get a decent amount of those extra of Erebor. They are really overpowered, in my opinion. Like, they proved so vital in the first episode when we fought against Gundabad. They were the true reason we actually were able to bring down that faction in one, one episode. 
I like that Imladris and Northern Duna is now working like a buffer against the orcs in the south. But we do want to cleanse the whole mountain range though. But that just means uh, we're going to be able to just muster a great army and attack them when we want. But now we're going to hit Goblin Town from two sides. And they will not have the force to repel us. And then we can merge armies and Dane will lead the Hammers of Gundabad. Edura sieged. Alright, now we can probably recruit a couple more units here. Yeah, let's get them immediately. Let's get the... Let's see. Can we have... Do we have the Orkani tunnel here? No, we cannot build it, of course. Uh, let's get... Yeah, it would be nice with some axe throwers here as well. We just need to have some proper recruitment centers here. Aye. Let's send these Aye. guys over here. Belly. Gorund. And you're going to go back to Angzul. Lily is almost at Khandrum. And we'll have Chow Chow here as well. We no Mount Gunnabad. And we got a spy over here. Let's see. We need to scout a little out before I uh, dare these guys. Ah, oh, they have a large army here. This is wonderful. This is probably the perfect time to hit Rune. Yeah, they're, like Rubar is like completely emptied. This is wonderful. It's nice that Dale are doing some stuff for us now. Let's get them over here. It's a long walk from Erebor to Rune to be honest. It takes a couple of turns. Let's see. Let's gather them up here. And I suppose this will be sufficient enough. We just have a lot of strong infantry. Let's send them as well. Let's get the Ballista Maker here as well. We don't. We want to get a lot of uh, Dwarven Catapults. And these guys will be sent to the Angmar as well. We just really want to get Angmar off the map now. They're just being a pain in the ass. Alright, let's send the force out here as well. Let's see what they got here. Tugot got a pretty large army. Nagrat as well. And Goblin Town has a large army. Alright. My king. I lord. We don't have any cavalry here, but I don't think that is really of any importance. It is like in this situation, we're just going to occupy the troops and try to get some troops out of the way. And Tugos is probably going to attack us, and he's going to be able to be heavily defeated. We're going to leave behind these Dwarven laborers. That's not going to be sufficient enough. Let's try to leave behind these Dalen Woodsmen as well. Still not sufficient enough. Alright, these guys. Yeah, that's fine. Aye, leaving the army. They're probably going to attack us now, and then we'll get rid of the large force. And then these guys can just swipe and bring Aye, down the rest. My king. We'll not have two of a chubby garrison here once we get Aye, all of king. these troops over here. Aye, Lord. My king. Still need a couple more units. We can't... Oh, we can actually recruit them quite often, to be honest. Let's get more troops there as well. Ah, Dragon Slayers of Eden Mifflin. 50 turns, though. That's going to take a while. Axe throwers just go here. We gotta help out down here as well in Kalen's Western... Casa Doom West. And here's Sagkala. It's going to be quite easy to bring that down. Because they... You can't no longer go from this side, it's only from this side. Let's just have some more troops available here. And let's end the turn. We're going to go to talk with the Dwarves of Eredlun and see what they, what they are doing. I really hope they could take out Oyolad. If we could take down the Remnants of Angmar from... Two sides, that would be pretty efficient. And Imladris is even being a little bit aggressive here once, because we have thrown them back a little bit. 
Now I'm, uh, I'm curious if uh, the Arx is going to attack us now. They are actually not. Wow. Ah, one of their armies is standing right, right outside Goblin Town now. So we might be able to capture Goblin Town now. Let's see. Uh, they're probably prepared for this army here. Uh, yeah, they have the lot stuck here. That's fine. Can we attack Tarsur? No, we can't. I'm gonna stick you. Have a taste of my blade. All right. Let's Aye. get the troops inside Armor. Angzul. Armor. Let's see if we can leave Gimli now. Still, we can't leave Aye. Gimli. Stupid. March. We march to my king. Let's see if we can leave him if we lose. Aye, if we leave another unit there. We've marched our limit. Let's get the practice range. And we have these troops now. With some armor upgrades. That's nice. We definitely want to see some armor upgrades soon. Still a couple of turns over here. Let's get these boys. Some more units in Barsaka. I saw we just need to uh, end the Angmar's reign here. Now, I'm tempted to go for Togot. On the other hand, I i really want him to just attack us. And if this guy still stands outside next turn, we're going to be able to capture Goblin Town very quickly. And Balmer is probably going to get attacked by Mognag. That's just going to be a nice battle where you can see the hammers in some real action. Ah, we got some heavy armor in Ergor now. Can we re upgrade it even more? Yeah, we need a Telchar in plate. That's going to take a long time though. We don't have any money now. We have actually spent all our coffers. But Rubar is now going to be ours. Let's just see if they actually defeated that force. Barakuin. They still have a pretty large force here. But I think Dale can deal with that. And then we'll deal with Rubar in the meantime. By your will, sire, we shall engage. He might attack us, and they might send... Yeah, it's going to take a while for him. I think Dale is going to be able to help us out there. These guys just need to head. Yeah. Alright. Let's get these guys over here. And let's end the turn. Except, yeah. Let's end the turn. I hope the Orcs of the Misty, or no, uh, the uh, Goblins of Moria, of course. I keep saying their old name. <laughs> to be honest, I think the Goblins of Moria needs to be a little bit more interesting now. They are not the very most, like, they're not as interesting as before. You just get a less few regions, and I don't think you get any, any new troops either. So I think they could definitely get some kind of upgrade. Ah, they're going to attack. I really want to see some hammers in some action. Yeah, 3,500. This is going to be a nice battle. Uh, I think we could, yeah, fight this battle off. And the main reason is because of those guys. But it's, it's fun. Just a large trash. Hard. Yeah, I think we're going to take a watch of this battle. That battle was rather event uneventful, the so I just decided to drop it. Vanquished. Took like no casualties at all. Of only the the hammers got a lot of kills, was only like six. That was mostly due to missiles, and they get some experience. Dealing cavalry getting lots of kills. A lot of them got away because they just decided to route. After we had taken out like 20% of them. We ha we hadn't even killed the general. I think he might have routed though. But yeah, we're hopefully going to see a nice battle in Goblin Town. And my goal is to get full experience on this Hammers of Gundabad unit. That would be nice. Alright, just execute them all. 
And they are going to attack Dane. That's wonderful. Then we're going to sweep in from two sides and eat them up. Alright, Tarzur. Yeah, it's really the same case here, to be honest. Just a trash army. I'm going to fight this off camera. Alright, they're brought down. Most of them are killed. If we are lucky, we can get some of these mountain orc hunters as well. Their armor piercing is never welcome in the dwarven armies. But we crushed them utterly. Only lost like 9%. And the problem with that the enemy always get the cavalry as generals is that they die very early on. So I think some changes could be made to that. Alright, let's end the battle. The enemy 100 lost, 2,448 killed. The, woodman, the woodsman are proving to be a deadly unit against the Snaga. Uh, this is Denethor and his Palantir. But yeah, definitely because they have they have quite much uh, ammo, and they also have so many men in the unit. So they're pretty much working like the snug arches. You just bring a lot of them, and you can wreak havoc just because you have superior numbers, and you will just bring down a lot. Now we'll see what will happen over here now. Now the siege is going to happen. Ah, uh, they're probably going to attack us with another army. No, they're actually not. They are coming for Kameth Brin though, which we actually can't defend. Uh, we could send Dane back and just use Balrim to bring down. My king. That would probably be the optimal. Yeah, if we just siege out Goblin Tal with these guys. Well, we, uh, we can't actually do that Leading at the, the moment. Uh, if we actually attack Lagthak though, this whole garrison is going to Amethyst sally out. I'm gonna stick you. Yeah, we should actually attack yeah, Lagthak and just bring the whole army outside. But this army is... Uh, it, they got a lot of wargs, but it's still just trash. The goblins don't really have anything. And these guys, yeah, they will be able to bring down this settlement. But if we start attacking Goblin Town, they will probably retreat. Kingdom of Gondor is doing very good. Alright. Let's take a look here. Let's just move some more forces. I'm really mad that we actually lost the battle over here. It's annoying. We gotta do so much more now. Let's bring them in. Let's bring Gimli out. Still mad. Even with two more troops. We just gotta keep Gimli here for another... For a little longer. But that's so boring. I really want to use Gimli. I promise you, I'm going to use Gimli in the future. Right, let's send them to Angsul. We'll have a pretty sufficient force now, once these guys arrive. Hopefully we can bring down that large stack at that moment. But they're still very, very powerful. Yeah, alright. Let's just double check. Oh, yeah, over here. Let's see. We're not far from Rune now, actually. And these guys are doing fine. We want to attack Ruba this turn. Yeah, these guys will not be able to do anything. But these guys haven't really... Yeah, they haven't clashed just yet. And they have two large stacks here. Oh, that was stupid. Alright, we'll send him over here once we have taken Rubar. It's not long until the barracks went now and we can finally field some Dwarven leads. Uh, that was why we were waiting here, I think. Because of the barracks event. If we build this, we're not going to be able to get the barracks right away, but... Yeah, I think we're going to we're going to wait. Hopefully, Barksmith is not too. Actually, I'm just going to go for it. We have so many other castles we can build um, the barracks in. All right, let's see. Let's get more troops here. My king. The Ferrari can just stay in the fort. And let's get the Stoneworkers Hall in good and bad, just because why not. 
And let's send I, these guys. I'm out. I yeah, let's send Mark them out. Move out. Ironmongers is fine. Let's get these guys as well. We're just going to keep rushing troops here. I want to finish Angmar and then we're going to clean the whole, whole mountain range. And we're going to claim Castle Doom West. Which is going to be the ultimate price over here. I'm gonna stick you. Now, I think we could take down Lagthak. This army is not that strong. That's going to be a very, very cheeky way on getting this city, but... We are, of course, going to be able to meet up with Balmir. And then we could either go straight for the whole mountain range, or we could send reinforcements and just bring down Angmar really quickly. But I think I'm going to keep just rushing this mountain range. Uh, yeah. They will probably get a lot of troops retreated anyways. And then we can just attack Goblin Town in the next turn with Balmin and see the Hammers of Gundabad in action. So yeah, I'm going to fight this battle. And I'll maybe see you on your battlefield. I haven't decided yet. Alright, I decided to not show the battle. It wasn't that interesting. We lost 27% though. And a lot of their forces is going to get back. And the general is still running. Yeah, he's right here. It's a little bit hard to catch him though. And I doubt we're going to be able to. Let's see. These guys are at least a little bit faster, but they're not just not attacking him once they are within range. That's a problem. Let's see where he is now. Yeah, come on, come on, catch him now. There we go. That's wonderful, actually. And just capture these guys as they arrive as well. Wonderful. These Dalen Woodsmen, though. Much more overpowered than I thought. Our foe is utterly vanquished. Yeah, we crushed them. All who remember the same Stiff beat archers, airborne infantry. Good job, and airborne axe throwers. No, airborne infantry. Good job. Now we're going to see a proper siege of Goblin Town, probably. If they're not going to get inside, though. At least we'll have a very powerful army here. Which will head straight for Sakhala. And then Kasadun West. Who knows, we might even be able to help out the Rahirim against um, Isengard. Let's execute them. Yeah, it looks like it's just ours for the taking. There we go. Let's exterminate. Ah, wonderful. Now, can anyone find up a cool name for Goblin Town? I don't want it to be called Goblin Town. So, in the meantime, I'm just going to call it. Yeah, just Dwarf Town. That's a really bad name, but I want to get some a really nice name. I want you guys to find something cool. All right, let's build the brewery. No. Hi, my liege. Ah, uh, this is nice. We're probably going to make so much more money now that our border is on both of these sides. We'll see if they will spawn a stack arm here. I'm not too certain about it, actually. Yeah, Captain Tugot can just attack if he wishes. I'm actually going to put some cavalry in here. That is just good. Let's merge those. Let's get the ironmongers here. My king, I know sire. I sire. Yeah, this arm is definitely growing. My king. Let's end the turn. Let's see what will happen in the world. I do not remember if they will get a large stack outside Goblin Town or not. It really differs from faction to faction. And it's been a while since I played the Dwarves of Erebor, so I can't really remember what the case is. Our borders is going to be very weird now, though, if we take out Sakhala and such. Yeah, these guys are headed back now. That's just wonderful. We can let Imladris deal with them. 
and the money just increased into our town. All right. Largest faction, that's wonderful. And we are the most advanced faction. In with you, board, we got the pub. Ah, uh, Dragon Slayers have added Mifrin when we have 75%. That's just nice. Let's perhaps, yeah, let's just get the town garden. Framsburg, we got a couple of new dwarves. IT, let's see. Anything else here? No. Not long until we can get our second unit of the hammers. That's cool. Very, very cool. You guys head over here. Ah, they're coming now. My king, I sign. Honor, my lord. Let's just my wait king. for all our troops I, to be my honest. I, my liege. I wonder if they I have lord. not taken Oyolad. Ah, the dwarves of Ered Luin have. That's wonderful. Uh, let's see, where is our uh, diplomat now, actually? Something he is the spy. Here, let's see, list scrolls. Right, where is our diplomat in oil lad? Actually, let's just find. Of course. Or is it here? I can't really remember where it is. And I played so much in the Angmar campaign as well. This is kind of embarrassing. All right, we'll have to look for it. I I think I'm just going to send you the way all around here, just to make sure. Yeah, we'll have the sufficient force here now, I think. We do not have any cavalry though, which is a real mistake. But we, we can't really recruit anything. As, yeah, we can't really recruit anything. Let's send these uh, axe guard over here. Alright, so now... There's nothing to head down here, to be honest. Like, we're just going to use Baladim to build a couple of towers. Ah, they actually hold Fenholm. Then that's a possible target, but I rather want to go down here. But these guys will probably deal with all the goblins here at the moment. So now it's the question. Why will why isn't these guys getting the Legion? I think they should get like Legio 1 Gundabad. Alright, so we do not need to do anything more here. I think we have the sufficient force over here as well. Let's just send a spy here. Yeah, he's right here. If we leave Goblin Town, he's probably coming right back at it. So we just gotta decide what to do with these guys. If We should leave a sufficient force, but we could also just head down here and bring down the Goblin Settlements. Could even help out Woodland Realm with Dol Guldor if we wanted. At the rapid pace we are expanding. No. Let's merge these guys. Will, my lord. And these I guys as well. I, wow, this unit actually got the Silver Shovel now, that's pretty cool. I, lord. But once we leave, I think these goblins are going to bother us. I think I really I want can't. to get... I can't really decide what to do here. Dang. I, my king, I saw him. Our borders is just so weird down here. But I think we want to go for Fenholm or will these guys... Yeah, they will be able to deal with Fenholm. I think we can just head straight for Sakhala. I think it's right there. Yeah. And then we don't have to deal with any more goblins around this part. Alright, so what we... We did exterminate everyone, so we can probably leave behind. Let's just see. Yeah, they're actually fine with that. Wow, that's wonderful. And Balrim will go back there when he can. And let's kind of merge a couple of units here as well. We should definitely get the hammers. Let's get some elite infantry as well. Your will, my lord. Let's merge right here, the armies, sire. and we can still have like, my yeah, this will be fine actually. Yes, my king. All right, my king. 
Let's just head out then. This army is unbeatable, to be honest. It have everything we need. It have elite, elite uh, axemen, and they have a lot of infantry. They have the archers and they have the cavalry. Such a force is like almost unbeatable when you have dwarves in the army. All right, let's end the turn. Oh shit, we actually forgot to attack a rhubar. Oh yeah, we'll have to... We can just attack them now, it doesn't really matter. It looks like Rune haven't been doing much over there anyways. But I just forgot about that completely. Let's see what Rune does now. They might attack us. No, they didn't. Alright, that's wonderful. Yeah, of course these guys are going back for Goblin Town now. We'll have to bring them down with Dane. That will be quick process. That's what we expected, to be honest. All right, we have almost sieged these guys out, actually. I will not wait and this is not a sufficient you. force at all. At your service. Let's just check down here. Way. Yeah, they're pretty I weak. Ah, oh, they're coming you up with a large army, though. It would be nice to hold these guys at the bridge, but you. we can't really do I that. Wait. Don't have enough time. I saw Move out. Now these guys are finally starting to arrive, to be a very nice, we march no yeah it will be today. nice. We can start recruiting here not too long, Grey Havens and Clans of NY. Alright, we got a lot of shit built here. Let's just get the Stoneworkers Hall while we wait for the backs to to hit. Yeah, same here. Let's just get the Stoneworkers Hall in the places we don't build anything. I guess we could send these troops down to Dwarf Town now, just to have some reinforcements. That's a perfect... Uh, these guys are so weak as well. But I don't really want to expand deep down here. On the other hand, we could... If we could bother the dwarves at Casa Doom, that would be kind of cool. Alright, I'll have to deal with Tugoth at least. Over here we should probably get some more units, yeah. Just want to build anything that can give us more troops. And we'll now have a pretty sufficient force here, I think. In next turn, we'll head out, and we still have more troops coming in. Around here, we still want to build stuff that gives us troops. Or we might want to start going for some more mines now. Let's get the practice range in Kandu. Yeah, this is so stupid, we should have exterminated this place. Now Gimli's stuck here for so long. My king. My we don't need both of these generals though. Yeah, one can just stay as a garrison, that's perfect actually. Alright, so I will have to deal with Captain Thugot. Otherwise this army can't really head out. So I'm just going to see you right after I have fought Thugot. Routed and crushed they are, gone they are. Let's go. Yeah, it wasn't really... Dale Cavalry. It was a very depleted army. And now there's no resistance left to hold or to attack Goblin Town. So now I'm just going to head straight for Stag Hala and then Casa Doom West. And this army will be more than sufficient enough to bring down all the remaining settlements of the Mountain Orcs or the Goblins of Moria. This is a nice depiction of the Barrowites, or perhaps just the ghost of Osgiliath. Alright, so we'll have to go around here and bring down Pardalot, so that he doesn't attack this settlement before we can aid. Yeah, well, he will be able to get over there in one turn, that's good. Let's send the spy down here. Yeah, they just keep sending armies. Okay, let's see what we're going to do over here. 
this episode is coming to its end. I think we're just going to keep sieging these guys out, to be honest. Spies right here. These guys will... Yeah, they will not be there in two turns anyways, I think. Just barely not. On my way. And the army over here, they're just probably just occupied with dead anyways. So just going to siege them out. Just going to end one more turn before we call it a day. Let's go. Ah, the extra is just on their way. So it's been uh, it's been a nice challenge today that we actually lost that battle against Agmar. I'm kind of mad that I didn't show that battle because it was really exciting. It was very close. Even though we lost, we like barely lost. But their generals proved to be too great. It's nice seeing Imladr is actually doing some work over here. Oh, they might actually have taken Sakala. We might not have to deal with it. Wow, they're just going on a strike right there. They hate, they really hate the goblins because uh, their mother, or Elrond's wife, was captured and tortured by orcs, but uh, she was freed again. But they like, they have a real hate, Eladan and Elrond against the orcs, because of that reason, so uh, extra reason. Ah! The barracks went out here. Wonderful. Yeah, we just started this one. Couldn't really know exactly when it would come. But we're going to get some nice units out of here. Uh, let's see, what is this? Orikani. Ah, oh, Royal Hall. We're going to get the Blacklock Engineers. That's wonderful. I am tempted to go for... Yeah, I do want to get those. That's one of the best. That's really just one of the best crossbows in the game. In Mount Gundabad, we're also going to go probably for some barracks. Uh, we can get so many nice units now, definitely. We should have some more mines, we're not making too much money. And I also want to get the Dwarven Catapults. Where did I just finish the Ballista Maker? There was, it was somewhere here. I don't remember exactly where. Ah, it's here! We have to get the Catapult Maker. That's wonderful. Aye, Lord. All right. Yeah, we definitely do have the forces to start attacking now. And of course, our brethren over here. Ah, here's Garth Helgoth. Let's go for map for map. Nara the Chivalrous. Nice. Let's see where they hold land now. All right, this is still not theirs. Ah, they actually hold Fjordost. Alright, let's make a push right here, boys. Let's see. Ah, they're going to be mad then. If we leave. We need all the archers we can get, though. Let's leave behind some of those. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's just head out and start attacking. And you guys are just going to this forge. Dane's Hall, Sparkeleg, Dwarf Town. We should probably get the. Let's see. The pub as well. We're making. Yeah, we're starting to make some money again, but. Let's just check really quickly if they have actually gotten Sakala. No, they haven't. Alright. That's going to screw our borders a little bit, but that's fine. But are we actually allied to these guys? We're probably not. No, of course we're not. That means we'll have to go through their lands. That's fine. We have just cleared out Goblin Town. They should be happy now. And if they are mad, we'll just have to ally them. Alright, Balrim. Or Balmir. Balmir it is. Uh, yeah, this also hold this region. We really gotta hit them on this side as well. And they're just like not even recruiting any units on this side. My king. I. 
Forward. I will not waste words on they will actually be able to get here in the next turn. So I will have to take Rubar. But I'm going to do that for the next episode, I think. But it's going to be nice finally seeing some real elites on the field. We should get the barracks here as well, I think. And the catapults, of course. Like, drawing catapults, are, they are so overpowered. You have no idea. Or it's probably a lot of you that have an idea of how overpowered they are, but they are just like They're completely monsters. They can bring down so many units if used properly Yeah, it will be nice to get some Some of the dragon slayers in a while and such, but it's still pretty long until we can get those But it will be nice with yeah 45 turns Wow, that's like Around the hundredth turn, that's stupid. But it's going to be nice seeing some real elites in the next uh, episodes. We're going to clear out this mountain range. And then we'll see what enemies, enemies will face from that point on. We're going to establish the border with the dwarves of Erlun. And the whole north will be cleansed. And the dwarves have complete control over the north. And soon the mountains as well. And it's not long until the army over here arrives. And from that point on, Rune is going to start struggling. But we definitely need to start making another army, which we can send to the south, because we'll not be able to bring down the whole of Rune with just one army. To be honest, we should never have sent this army to the east. It has just slowed our progress down by quite a bit, in my opinion. Ah, they're actually sieging out Vintir and AR. That's wonderful. We're now establishing a real border up here in the east, yeah, southeast. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. Support me via Patreon if you'd like. And I will see you guys for the next episode.